Now this is just a little update on this fidget spinner motor I built. I'm just going to show you a little bit about how it's uh, built here. The fidget spinner, this plastic part that's on the bottom is glued to the board. Uh, the rounded corner of these three things here, I basically sanded down to make a flat spot to glue the magnets on. This coil I took out of an old radio phonograph vacuum tube era thing that somebody threw away. So it's a real nice coil. The micro switch of course from Radio Shack. Uh, the Hall Effect sensor is mounted on this little piece of wood I drilled some holes through to put the uh, legs of the sensor on. We got our standard Radio Shack battery holder now. Uh, there's some little party favor light things we ran into at a get together the other day that has some really good LEDs in them that take a little bit more voltage than your standard um, I think your your smaller LEDs normally uh, can only stand about three volts. These things seem to take a little bit more voltage than the ones that were in the party favors. And also what I noticed, uh, let me start this thing up for a second here. And take it up to speed. I went ahead and uh, previously had a diode over here and replaced it with the LED. When I turn this thing off right now, power off, power's off. The magnets spinning by the coil keep that light well lit for at least 10 seconds and maybe somewhat lit for, you know, 12 or 15 seconds. And in this coil I used, I took the core from another coil that's a little bit smaller because the one that came with this initially was gigantic and you know I didn't want one quite that big. Uh, I used a different core and I have it pushed in about 60 percent so what that does is it strengthens the magnetic field but without getting the metal part too close to the magnet to put drag in there on the magnet from the metal. So you balance those out and it, it uh, actually strengthens the uh, magnetic field without adding drag. And everything on here is glued down. Let me pick it up here. It stays pretty much in place. So if you wanted to use a picture hanger, you could hang one of these on the wall and it would work as a night light as long as the battery held out. So anyway, that's the update on the uh, fidget spinner.